Okay, so we're going to start with how a typical turn structure runs. Uh, we've set up the boats here, and then Matt is going to explain what happens next. Yeah, so in, in a turn you go for a number of phases. The first thing you do is you uh, roll for the wind direction. Now, the start of the game, uh, your scenario will tell you where the, where the wind starts. It could start in uh, uh, one of maybe two positions or something like that, or it will say it definitely starts, starts here. And what you do then is you place the, uh, the windrows, um, on the compass point where the, the wind is blowing from. Um, so the first thing you do is then roll for a wind once you're in turn, turn two onwards um, and it could move. So you know if it does move it, it will only be one compass point uh, round anti-clockwise or clockwise but that um, affects the next thing which is your initiative. And these mark the these locations here are where the windrows would move to? Yes, and uh, you can then use those as reference points to, um, from as the wind's blowing, to move your line across, which we'll talk about next. Um, so you can see where you're where you're heading towards. Okay. So initiative uh, determines uh, the order that the boats then move in, um, and that's determined by the wind. So the wind is currently here for us, um, and it's going to blow uh, directly uh, parallel with this this edge, then uh, all the way this way. And as it it hits each ship that's the order that they activate in. Okay. So currently, this ship would activate first, then this orc ship, then this smaller orc ship, then this Basilean one, and then these two in order. Right. If the wind moves, so say it moved, uh, say it moved up to here, up to this way, and from this corner, it would then go from corner to corner. And actually, if we have a look now, then at the line, uh, it will go, it will then hit this one first, yep. then this one, then this one, then that one. Right. So it's actually in a different order. And then actually then that one, then that one. So depending if the wind moves, it might change your plan slightly, or you can or you can set yourself up to predict where you think the wind if, if it moves, then you've you you're still okay. Okay. So there's a tactical element in that in in, um, in lining yourself up if you want the initiative for, to move before something else does. And it's measured from the base of the ship. Yes, as soon yeah. as it hits a base. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that's once once you've done initiative, then the ships will activate in that order. Right. Um, during a ship's activation, uh, it will move uh, a number of times depending on its speed. Now your speed um, can be well, either you can be anchored, in which case you can just just turn and shoot, um, or you can go at steady speed, which gives you one move. Uh, battle speed, which is two moves, and full speed, which is three moves. And we call each move a move step. Okay. Um, so I guess we'll, sh we'll show our movement works yeah. and what each of that what they mean in a minute. Yeah. So at the end of each move step, you can uh, turn up to your maximum uh, turning angle uh, and then shoot. Um, and then so so say I was going say this ship was going at uh, battle speed, it could do one move step turn and shoot, do a second move set, turn and shoot, and, okay. then, it, and then it's uh, and then it's, it's it's finished its movement and shooting. But the uh, once you've finished your all your movement and your all your move steps, um, if you're within uh, three inches of an enemy ship, you can then attempt to grapple them and then boarding action. Okay. Uh, once you've done that, then that ship's activation is done and you move on to the next one. So it's quite simple. Once everything's activated, you go into the end phase where you clean up the various things and maybe some end, uh, end phase effects are done, and then you go on to your next turn. Okay, so next we'll see how a ship moves, I guess. Yep. This is important. Yep.